Man, another thing I was thinking about was <laughs> just the notion of more, more prayer, more Bible reading, more fasting, right? Spiritual disciplines. Now, you have to be careful with more because more is good. The Bible talks about growing in the grace and the knowledge of the Lord. We should be growing. We should be stretching and reaching out to do more and more good works in the world because that's why we're here. God says that he predestined us to good works, Ephesians 2. So, amen. But the sneaky thing that happens oftentimes is we think with more we're adding to the quality of what Jesus has already accomplished for us. So we have to be careful. So when we do more, we ought to see those spiritual disciplines as means of grace where God allows us to hit reset. He allows us to be sort of um, recalibrated where we can refocus and get realigned with the things that he has deemed good for us as humans, the things that he's deemed the best way to enjoy and to get the most out of the human experience, but more doesn't equate to God liking you more, him loving you more, him all of a sudden responding to your response with a bunch of good blessings or he see your lack of and then de determines to punish you or to take blessings away from you. That idea is the destructive one that oftentimes creeps in and sucks the life, drains the life out of the Christian. We should settle in to the reality that we cannot add anything to what Jesus has done for us. Now, those spiritual disciplines, they serve as a means of grace as God lovingly gives us these tools to reset, to get more focus so we can give ourselves to others as unto the Lord. You feel?